Welcome back. Just uh, finishing off the rear brake here. So this is the uh, rear. It's hydraulic. Uh, I've got two front hydraulic brakes as well. Just making a bracket here. Uh, it's one of the last things I need to tidy up. So just in this video, I'll just finish off the brakes, uh, the pedals, and a bit more on the frame. And, and I'll mount the seat, and then I'll basically take it for a test drive. So there's the rear uh, caliper bracket. I'll weld that to the frame. That's never coming off. You can see how, how substantial it is. Uh, once I did that, I just did a bit more welding on the frame as well. Uh, just to strengthen it up a bit because it was only tacked. And I don't want to start driving it and then have a weld crack somewhere. Uh, so I did the frame there and also um, added a couple of brackets for the seat. So the seat's the original off the mower. It actually, I think it suits this one pretty good. So there it is there. Uh, it's hard to see there, but it's it's just a very basic mower seat. Uh, will do the job. And then what I did was I had to do the pedals. So here's the master cylinder. It's a dual master cylinder. One side's for the front brakes and one side's for the rear brake. Um, I've got a brake switch there on the bottom left. So I am going to put tail lights and brake lights uh, on the rear of this mower. So that's what that's for. There's some pedals I made, so brake and accelerator on the um, right hand side, modified out of uh, an Audi I think it was. Um, doesn't resemble what it looked like originally, but that's what the mainframe came from. So just mounting them in there. Uh, the brakes turned out really good. Um, I've Just on the base of those, I've, I've just mounted a spring as well, which you can see under here so there's just a little spring it's not finished at this point uh, to return it to the home position and uh, they seem to work pretty well so here's the uh, accelerator cable I've actually tinned that cable and it's a bit hard to see in there but I've, I've tinned it I've soldered it a little bit and once I've stuck it in there I've bent the end over this is how I like to do the ends so I just uh, once I've tinned it so I'm guaranteed the solder is going to stick a bit more flux low temperature torch and just some silver solder or soft solder. Fill the tube up, works a treat. There's absolutely no chance that cable is ever coming out. And what I like about this is um, it's easy, it's cheap, and it's very neat as well. So we'll have a look at the end of the cable in a sec, but uh, that's the way I like to do it. I know that there's a few other ways you can do it. I've tried a few things, but this is what I like. So there's the end of the cable, sweet, that's never going to break. Uh, so from here, there was a bit more work I have to do on the body. Um, there's the front brakes as well, just to give you another look at those. Front suspension, double wishbone, the front disc looks awesome. But there's still a bit more work to go on the body, it's very fiddly. There's a lot of uh, small welds I need to do and, and panel beating because the metal uh, distorts a little bit when you weld it so it's very hard to get around that when you've got so much welding but um, at the end of this video I've taken uh, or added a bit of the first drive uh, it's nothing spectacular but it, you know it's been really great to be able to drive it it's got reverse which is awesome plenty of power uh, you don't really get a good idea in this video but I'll put it at the end here you can have a look at it in the next video hopefully I'll finish this body work off and um, take it for a decent drive. So all I've done is just check that everything turns okay, there's no problems, and uh, you know I'm very happy with the way it drove, so uh, everything is shaping up really well. So anyway, stay tuned. Um, hopefully I can get past this welding and bodywork, which seems to be taking a fair bit of time. Stay tuned.